Hey everyone, Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill from The Real Shot. Welcome to another Real Report. Uh, you know, this season is definitely just crazy for ice conditions. And uh, before we get to uh, some good bluegill fishing here, uh, I just want to stop out on the Winnebago. Um, I know there's some fisheries happening this weekend, Otter Street and Battle on Bago and that's coming up. Um, so I just wanted to get out here and show you guys firsthand what the ice conditions really are. Uh, we're not too far off of Asylum Bay actually right now. And uh, you know, in this general area, uh, we've got anywhere from eight to 10 inches before we hit that new ice. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go out, drill a hole and show you guys exactly how thin it is and then show you how the crack is working. Um, there's a couple cracks that work east and west and then obviously this new one here that runs north and south. So um, show you what the ice is stay away from it uh, you know if you guys want to walk around um, check it out um, that's fine but I wouldn't be driving any snowmobiles four wheelers or vehicles especially over any of that new ice uh, I've got probably about three to four inches um, and you know it's already starting to honeycomb it's looking like March ice so uh, you know good luck this weekend first of all and uh, I guess be safe that's the biggest thing is be safe uh, use caution and stay away from all the cracks and uh, this new ice all right, what we've got is we were standing on top of some white ice, um, you know, from here on into shore. Uh, we've got that eight to 10 inches or, or so. And uh, just on the other side of this crack here uh, where the ice just refroze, uh, we've got about four inches. What I'm gonna do here is just drill a hole and you guys will be able to see the difference. That's about four inches of ice right there. Well, not only can you see that uh, I'm standing in some open water, uh, we got a crack that's working back and forth. Uh, these cracks are everywhere. Uh, you, you know, series of them going from north to south, and there's a couple of them that, like I say, that head east to west. Uh, so even when it does refreeze, or if it ever refreezes this winter, um, you know, there's just so many cracks that are opening and working around. Uh, from what I understand, the East Shore has got a big one over by Mud Creek that opened up as well. Uh, so the whole lake this year is just actually absolutely treacherous. Um, stick to the bays if you're going to get out. Uh, know the areas that you're going to fish. Um, you know, over on the East Shore there is some better ice, uh, but uh, you know, just use caution. Uh, talk with the local clubs, bars, wherever you guys are going to go out of, and uh, just make sure that you know where you're going. Uh, make sure you got some sort of flotation, uh, ice picks, uh, check the ice with a chisel. Um, you know, do everything you would do normally at first ice, because uh, I hate to read about anybody in the paper. But um, let's go do some bluegill fishing out on here, out here in Washera County and Wapaka County. Uh, I think we're going to hit uh, Long Lake, and uh, that's on the chain, and try for some of the big bluegills out there. You know, I'm fishing these suspended bluegills. You can see, we'll look at them race up for here. There we go. Not a bad one. Not a little bit. Um, you know, I like to drill, get out, and uh, we're fishing along a weed edge right now. And basically what happens is these fish will head out towards the basin during the day, and then again towards the evening they'll come back up and hang around you know, the edge of the weeds and they'll move up a little bit shallower. Um, so what I'll do is I'll work out uh, the weed edge tops off at about seven feet or so and then the basin job drops down to about 22, 23. Uh, so what I did is drilled a bunch of holes uh, all from you know 23 on up and uh, you know what you can do then is just walk around and uh, basically drop the locator down, put it to a wide angle, walk around and um, you know just look for the fish. Use your locator, and uh, like you see here on the screen, we've got a bunch of fish, uh, and then I'll stop and fish it. And as these fish move up shallower, they tend to get a little bit more aggressive.
month. Yes, sir. Uh, quick question. Okay. Uh, I got a nice one. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, play by play. Keep talking. <laughs> this thing is a monster. <laughs> oh, um, that's on camera too, just so you know. Uh, no, I'm fishing with Paca. I got, that yeah, was a giant bluegill. <laughs> oh, here we go, play by play. There we go, nice one. Oh, Jesus. This thing's pissed. <laughs> yeah, baby. Just this one right here, Justin. Okay, I'm talking to Mr. Munt on the phone right now. Justin, this one's for you. About a nine inch or so, so. That's on, that, that's on film, so you're gonna see it. So I got living, we got living proof. There's another nice one. All right, buddy. <laughs> okay, there you go. Month number two. See you. Bye. I can't wait to edit this. <laughs> Talk to you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Munt. There we go. <laughs> Aha. Look at that. The run is on. Rob's got a tip up. And I got a nice bluegill here. We're going to end it with that. Wolfaca County, Chain of Lakes, nice bluegills. And uh, Rob might have a walleye on over there. But uh, you know, he's caution out here. The uh, ice isn't the greatest. Uh, anywhere from six to eight inches, lots of slush. Um, kind of a mess. But uh, you know, something different than fishing the Winnebago system. <laughs> and Rob just missed one. <laughs> Um, good bluegill action. You can set some tip-ups out, catch some pike, catch some walleyes, you know, get a mixed bag of everything. Um, you know, just, like I say, something different than uh, sitting amongst, you know, the hundreds of people that are on Winnebago or Poig. It looks like Saturday and Sunday is going to be pretty nice this weekend, so get out and enjoy uh, the outdoors and do some ice fishing, get the kids out, and uh, have some fun. Um, I guess until next week, don't know what we'll be doing yet, but uh, we'll be somewhere for sure, and, uh, Hopefully catching some fish. I'm Troy Peterson, Mr. Booga from The Real Shot with another real report. And uh, good luck, stay safe, have a good weekend.